Hello guys, in this video we are going to have a look on the founder of modern linguistics and that is Ferdinand de Saussure. About Ferdinand de Saussure, he is a Swiss linguist, semiotician and a philosopher. It is his contribution that shaped the or that gave a structure to this concept of structuralism. He introduced structuralism in linguistics. He introduced structuralism in linguistics. It marked a revolutionary break in the study of language which had till then been historical and philological. So till the time of uh, Ferdinand de Saussure, the study of language or the study of linguistics was considered to be just historical and also philological. That means you will be learning about from where does this language originated. It was completely on the basis of history and also philological. But with the approach of uh, Saussure, it, it got a radical change. A revolutionary break in the study of language because he introduced structuralism in linguistics and that is the area of concern of Ferdinand de Saussure he introduced linguistic he introduced structuralism in linguistics and one of the most important works of Saussure that you have to learn from net point of view is the course in general linguistics it was not published by Saussure but by two of his students who wrote it as or who published it as their lecture note it was published posthumously in the year 1916. The work is very important. The year in which the work is public, the work was published, is also very important. Course in general linguistics published posthumously. It was after the death of uh, Sesho that the students published the work, and it was published in the year 1916 by two former students of Sesho, and they are Charles Valley and Albert Seche. These are the two students who published the work and it is on the basis of the notes taken from Sashur's lecture in Geneva. Sashur was a professor at Geneva and this is actually the lecture notes given by uh, Sashur, uh, lecture notes given by Sashur to his students and it was published posthumously. And he introduced many ideas in his work and the main ideas are language as a system of science constructed by convention. He tried to figure out the structure in which the language is constructed. As I said earlier, structuralism is completely based on structure. It is based on a belief that everything in the universe follows the pattern of structure. Here you can see he, consider, he believes that language is constru uh, constructed by using science. Science is the basic structure of a language. Language has a system of signs and it is constructed by convention. Convention means as you like it. Okay, so it is basically a, it is basically a system of signs and how is it constructed? It is constructed by convention. And according to Sashur, meaning cannot be understood in isolation as it is relational being produced by the interaction between various signifiers and signifieds. Okay, so you cannot understand a word in isolation. You cannot understand language in isolation because language is always relational. Language gets its meaning when it is in a conversation or when it is produced by the interaction between various signifiers and the signifieds. That is the main idea of Sashur. And going on to the main concepts introduced and popularized by Sashur, as I said earlier, he brought the concept of sign. Language as a system of signs created by convention. What do you mean by a sign? A sign is a mixture or a sign is the combination or sign is produced because of the or by the interaction between a signifier and a signified. Therefore, you can conclude that sign is equal to signifier plus signified. Sign is equal to signifier plus signified. I want you to understand it very clearly because this is the basic idea of structuralism. Language is a system of sign. Language is a system of signs created by convention. Then what is this sign? Sign is a relational. It is created by the interaction between two things. One is signifier and other one is signified. What is signifier? Signifier is the sound image while signified is the concept. For example, I think this image will make the idea clear. This is a tree. Okay, and this idea that is a signified. When I say tree, you you get to hear this word T R E E tree, and this tree is the signifier. This is the sound. 
signifier is the sound image signified is the concept sound image in the sense what you hear or what we say about it that is the uh, that is the signifier so here the word tree is the signifier but when i say tree some sort of tree will comes up in your mind and this will be different for each of you for example when i say the word tree uh, what you have in your mind might be um, might be a mango tree while for some other it might be a coconut tree and for uh, some other it might be just a sugar cane so the concept of tree differs but the word tree is same for all of you therefore the tree is actually the signifier this uh, the sound while the uh, the image the image that gets into your mind when i utter this word is the signified what i intend you to understand that is the signified and therefore this together creates a sign so when i say the word tree tree becomes a sign because you know the word tree and also you know what it signifies okay so that is what we call or that that is what creates a sign so sign is the create sign is the combination of signified and a signifier i hope this idea is very clear and uh, because i want you to understand it's very important not just from net point of view but also for in order to understand structuralism this concept is very important sign equal signifier plus signified signifier is the sound image while signified is the image conceived by the audience the relationship between a signifier and a signified is arbitrary or culturally constructed there is nothing relational with this signifier and the signified the relationship between a signifier and the signified is arbitrary how the you can say that it is culturally constructed for example when i say tree once some sort of tree comes in your mind and that is the relationship between a signifier and a signified but at the same time when i say the word tree in malayalam for example maram then also the people who know uh, malayalam will get to or will have this idea of tree in their mind therefore this word or this signifier has nothing to do with the signified the relationship why i know that this word tree stands for this image because uh, i have known it for ages because it is something that is said by my parents said by my grandparents and i actually don't know who constructed it at first and that is why saju says that the relationship between a signifier and a signified is arbitrary or you can say that it is culturally created or culturally constructed that shows that the meaning is not inherent in the sign it is assumed Uh, for example if a person who doesn't know the meaning of tree won't get this uh, image or won't get this idea of a tree when i say this word tree okay but if you if just because you know the meaning this comes in connection so the meaning of a word is not inherited it is assumed i hope you are getting me and there are some exceptions for example onomatopoeia and interjection onomatopoeia means the sound words okay when i say a sound word it normally refers to the way in which that animal or that uh, man makes that sound okay so for example hissing sound hissing sound derives from the sound of the snake so these words are not arbitrary or these words are not these words have a relation with each other but according to sashur except these two things the relationship between a signifier and the signified is arbitrary another concept just like how the sign is a combination of a signified and a signifier this concept language language is a mixture or language is an integration of long and parol the two things one is long and the other one is parol what do you mean by long long is a complete system of linguistic signs a set of conventions and rules shared by all the speakers of the language for example if we are all the speakers of the language english we have a set of rules that we have to follow when we say for example i have to say an apple or i have to say an orange 
I can't say a apple or I can't say a orange. These are some sort of rules that I have to follow. I I have to say Shole was released in the year 1987. I can't say Shole had been written. So these are all the some rules that I have to follow in order to uh, speak in English. This is not just the rule that I had to follow, but if you are also a speaker of English or if the one sitting be, uh, next to you is also the speaker of English, they all have to follow these set of rules. So that is that set of rules is what we call a log. Long is a complete system of linguistic signs, a set of conventions and rules shared by all the speakers of the language. It is because of it is because uh, we follow this long that I can understand your English and you can understand my English. That is the significance or that is the importance of this concept of long. Then what is parole? Parole is the physical manifestation of the speech. For example, as I said earlier, we all have this long in our mind or we all know this set of longs that we have to uh, have in your mind before speaking or do while speaking English but still with all these rules we all have individual characteristics or we all have this unique patterns in which we speak when which we do this action of speech and that is what we call parole parole is the physical manifestation of the speech the way in which I speak for example the way in which the um, let's say Mohalal, the way in which Mohalal speaks is different from the way in which Mamuti speaks. But the thing is that they both of them follows the same protocol of long, but the way in which their par the parole is you know, often unique to an individual because that is a physical manifestation. How I express the long that I had in my mind, that is parole. It is the individual performance of a language. Okay, so uh, I hope this image will make the idea clear. Parole is what the individual speaks while long is what is shared by the community. This is a community and they share some common ideas or common rules and conventions while using a language and that is the long while how an individual speaks that is the parole. So after sign and language. Uh, these are the two main concepts introduced by uh, Sashur. One is sign and the other one is language. Sign is the combination of a signifier and the signified. Signified is the image concept while signifier is the sound. And then we uh, came to la language. Language is the combination of long and parole. Long is the set of rules and conventions followed by a group of a group of people who for who speaks the same language. While parole is the physical manifestation of the language. Okay, so and that is all about Ferdinand de Saussure. And in the next video, we will go to the next uh, theorist who comes under structuralism. Thank you.